Hello, this is Brian, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Railroad Corporation. We finally finished the big New Orleans run, which I probably made way harder than it needed to be, but that's okay. Um, we are moving on to the next mission, and we're going to see what's going on with this. Um, I'm going to go for... I thought about taking profits, but honestly, some of the employee salary stuff wouldn't be bad. Let's actually grab some of these, I think. 1490 left so we only got time enough to get one of these probably less worried about the relocation cost we'll just grab the salary cost here so that we get employee requirements minus one that actually might be a useful little, little extra bit to take there and i think i'm happy with that let's go first competition first competition uh to whom it may concern the missouri government announced that the chaos caused by numerous railroad companies and multiple standards should end land grants will be available for railroad companies that fulfill their current requirements Gauge size should be fixed to at 4 feet, 8.5 inches, or 4, 1,435 millimeters. Okay. Steel rails instead of iron. Okay. Company value must not be lower than 3 mil. Your company currently does not meet the last requirement, about 3 mil company value. If you cannot increase it, you will lose your land grants. We're pretty close, though, aren't we? We're already, like, over 2 mil. I thought we got pretty high last time. Um... Oh, apparently it resets because I'm pretty sure we were higher previously. Okay, then what do we got here? This is uh, where are we at? We in Missouri? Is that is that what we're supposed to understand? Springfield, Lincoln, Nebraska, right? Or am I wrong about that one? There's probably a Lincoln in multiple places, actually. Probably a Lincoln, Illinois. Who knows? Um, I'm trying to see if there's any. There's Pittsburgh. Can't be the same Pittsburgh because that would not be Missouri then. I don't know. I don't know where we're actually at. I'm assuming, I assumed we were Missouri. Uh, do we? Uh, I don't have a way to see the research. So, did we actually keep our research from before? Um. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Let me check something real quick. I was like the graphics are a little. Yeah. Okay. I was like, why do the graphics feel wrong? I got a new video card. Um, and so I thought maybe the graphics were being messed up, and it is in fact what's happening. So we want to be 2560 by 1440 at preferably 100 hertz. I guess we'll be at 60 hertz. All right, that's better than nothing. Okay, that's... I was like, what is going on? It was it was throwing me off. Uh, full screen's fine. V-Sync, we'll actually turn that back on because I don't have G-Sync anymore with my new one. Max FPS, we can leave it at 60 for now. All right, that all looks way, way better. I was getting a little worried there for a bit. I was like, why am I, is my, I was like, is my glasses? Do I have my glasses on? It was throwing me off. All right, Evansville, Bro and Yard Railroad. What do we want to do here? Uh, we do already have a person that we can pick up. Passenger and mail profits going up. It's not bad, except for the fact that we don't actually currently have any passengers that we can transport, at least not from our current city. So we will need to build up a bit before we can get that rolling. Um... Do we have, what kind of trains do we have? Okay, we do have access to all the different trains. So that's awesome. I um, mean, we still might want to go with some best friends and things like that just because of the price. But it's good to know that we have the other ones available after we unlock them previously. Um, I got to figure out what our first train is going to be here. We got coal. Coal, I mean, we do have to build a bridge if we're going to go down there, but that could be a pretty lucrative yeah, that's actually really good money there, to be perfectly honest. So I'm leaning towards that. Uh, eventually, we can move the coal all the way up to Sullivan, along with the, iron, the ore, and turn it into steel, which we could then come back down to uh, Benton, although we need oil for that. There's also coal up there. Also tools. A lot of cities on this particular map. Okay, I think we're going to try and start with the coal down here, if we can afford getting all the way down there. I'm oh, sorry, my headphones just died. One second, let me replace them real quick. One, one thing I love about these particular headphones is that they have a spare battery that's always charging at all times. Just takes a second, swap them out. Boom. And there we go. Another battery charging up. I don't want to forget that. Alrighty, let's let's come down to Madisonville, I guess. 
I mean, if I could get cotton to Princeton, I could bring fabric here, but I don't see a cotton super close by. Wait, do you, drill? you just have wool? All right. I don't think we've actually seen wool before, have we? All right. We're going to come down from here. And we'll definitely stop just for the bridge. Across the water here. And then come on down to Madisonville. All right. We'll do that. Um, I mean, I do want to get a second line set up, but we probably just need to run this one for a bit. We need something to be able to pull a lot of weight. So max pulling is 110 tons, 85 tons. So it's either going to be the John Bull or the Memnon. Memnon is obviously twice as expensive. Uh, max speed is only 32 there. Max speed is 42 here. Hmm. I would love to go with the Memnon. I think the Memnon hasn't been upgraded that much either. So that does give us an option. Some 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 good stuff there. 40 grand though. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. It's literally half the price. The Jumbo is half the price. I mean, I guess the alternative way to look at it is we could buy two John Bulls for the same price. Yeah, I think we can start with the John Bull. If we ever want to upgrade, we can upgrade to the Menmon. I think that's the way we're going to play that. All right, we're going to go to Madisonville. And we're going to load up on coal. And how much can we load up? We actually load up several. Um, so 33% more for a loss of... Eight miles an hour, which is twenty five percent. Less than twenty five percent, right? I think that is still worth it. Yeah, it's gonna be slow, but it's gonna be bringing a whole nother one back. I think that's worth it. Uh, other than the fact that it might not be able to supply coal quickly enough, but now we're gonna go with that, and then we'll go to um, Evansville, and we will unload all the coal. Although I suppose this coal's no, eh, this coal might get might go by pretty quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and run to that. I do want to get a second line relatively quickly. But let's get this thing some profits coming in. What is our actually I mean other than company value? This work faster. Okay. I mean I suppose company value would be increased if we were to actually buy. Some of these locations like if we were to buy the coal mine itself for 66k although i'm sure it would go for bidding that would increase things as well uh, let's go ahead and speed up here i mean four loads of coal is, is a lot How quickly are you going to restock? Actually, I already restocked. That thing is restocked super fast. Just like that. Made a big old chunk of money. Um, Like I said, the next first thing we want to do is probably get a second line coming all the way down here pretty quickly. Obviously, you want to keep an eye on contracts and things like that. But for now, this is a good start. Getting logs coming in would be also another option. This line should be profitable here pretty quickly, actually. Yeah, one more trip and I think we'll be profitable already. All right, let's start getting some stuff set up here. I do want to get the um, research department just so we can kind of take a look at that right away. Although the HR department would also be useful. 
Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing any tunnels right now, so I'm not super worried about that yet. Let's get the research set up and let's just take a look at that and see where that puts us. If there's anything that, like the Memnon, it'd be nice to get that. Yeah, we haven't done really anything. That's what I assumed. Starting to work on some research here would be good. Such as, I mean, the max speed doesn't ever go that high. But it's able to pull so much stuff. So power affects acceleration, that makes sense. I think we start with the max speed, get that rolling. Let's put all our guys into that. I'm not going to do anything else right now because we, we kind of want to have money. We can get a second train line down here. It looks like this coal ore could support more, although the consumption is not going to go very fast. It's the only problem. Definitely behind on the value as of right now. All right, max speed is already done. That was quick. Let's grab... I'm most concerned about the power right this second. Probably the pulling mass. I mean, we'll probably let this train run out to where it's, you know, ain't got much left in it, but then eventually um change it up so the whiskey in kansas city that is nowhere near us that is not helpful at all that's unfortunate hey the train's already profitable i'm about to get even more so that's good I do think we need to get some repairs rolling here soon. So let's grab that. Let's go repair shop. Let's go with the basic one for now. Just so we can set up that this thing can get repaired. Yeah, we're about to run out of ability to drop off coal ore, unfortunately. Probably means we need to start waking our way up to Sullivan. Got a couple more trips though. We don't have to rush it just yet, but soon. Whiskey costs us more. Or sorry, whiskey costs us less paper and books cost more. I mean, that one could come in handy once we can get down to the whiskey, but it's really just not urgent right now. That's the problem. I mean, do we go through Princeton to get to Sullivan? Most likely. It looks like two more loads and we'll be kind of stuck. So let's get one more load dropped off, get a little bit of money from that. And then I'll probably start planning out how we're going to get a train up to Sullivan. I like to buy the coal mine, I think. I think we're going to be using it enough to justify that. Research for pulling mass has been completed. Um, guess we'll go with another pulling mass. You know what? I don't know that I have to rush that just yet. Let me, let me hold off a little bit. I'm okay that we did a little bit of research, but I do think I'm going to circle back to that here in a bit. All right, so one more load, we'll just, we'll have to wait, but that's okay. So we are officially, you know, we're in a good spot. We do need to start working on the train, the rail going up to Sullivan though. So let's get the one coming out of the back here. 
and hopefully going to Princeton. Actually, I kind of want it to turn a little bit more northward. How far north can we turn before it? There we go. That's probably about as much as we're going to get. It's 15 grand. We're going to need a bridge to get to Sullivan. Hmm. Something tells me we're not going to be able to get this one quite because of the extra cost of the bridge itself. Yeah. It put us negative, which we don't really want to do. So we're going to unpause. I'm going to leave that there once we get one more trip done. Good day to you. As Governor of Missouri, I'm worried about my citizens and I've noticed the downfall of our lumber industry. Everyone seems to be focused on black gold. I would like to ask you to invest into a lumber industry and show to everyone that it can still be profitable. Uh, success with this investment will attract other investors that will help us develop the lumber business here. If we gain $200,000 by selling lumber, we should be able to prove the profitability of our lumber industry. I I'm okay with that. That's a good that's a good one. I mean, we do have lumber nearby, right? We have it right there. Or is that just wood? I forget which was which. <laughs> um, all right, let me get you up there first. Need a little bit more money to get this built out. I definitely don't want to go negative yet, right? Could start taking loans, but try to hold off on that just a little bit longer. Oh, even that wasn't enough. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Why are you not going anywhere? Oh, you haven't actually sold everything. That's why. I don't want to redo this line, but I guess we might have to. All right, I think we're going to have to go negative. Just temporarily so that we can tell this guy to go to Sullivan. That's not what I wanted. So you're going to go, instead of going to Evansville, you're going to go to, uh, that's not what I wanted, uh, Sullivan, and you're going to unload coal. Actually a better price, and then we'll add in the Evansville on the way back just so we can get the repairs. Cool. All right, we'll go with that. We'll be temporarily negative. Kind of costs us a little bit. It's daily payment, seven bucks. Not that bad. We'll get up there here in a moment. Um, Kansas City and Kansas City. Great. Of course, they're both Kansas Cities. They're, they're nowhere near us. Construction cost soil works is cheaper. Yeah, it would be nice, but we're just not, not ready for that yet. Coal ore in Effingham, which this would be a incentive, right? Sells it lower, which would be good. If that gets if that goes, then we'll have to set up a line there for sure. All right, T1 will make it all the way up to Solon. It's gonna take longer, costing us some, some money, of course, but once we get there, we'll be fine. So that is wood, and we specifically need lumber. So we have to convert it, which would be down here at Sykes, Sykeston. Or up here at Vendal Vendalia. At least the coal sells for a little bit more here. All right, back to positive. I mean, I think the next thing we want to set up is the Mount Vernon to Sullivan line. Because that will get us making steel, which we can use for something as well. Why is everything literally Kansas City? That's kind of unfair. That's where the other guy is, right? Uh, not quite. Actually, he's pretty far away, so that's actually not helping him that much either. Locomotive upkeep. Now, that one would be worth probably spending some money on. 
Um, salary per month would be 352. I mean, our current upkeep is probably not that high. Mm, train upkeep. And that's for the quarter. Yeah, so it's not very high right now, but as we get more trains, obviously that's going to go up significantly. So that guy might be worth it, but we just can't afford it right this second. We need seven grand to get the HR department. This beginning is slow. These these, these starts are slow, especially once we don't have any contracts. We might just do a thing where we alternate back and forth between Sullivan and Evansville. Let Evansville burn off some of this coal. No, tight a bit of overdraft, not going to hurt anything. I'm not worried about that. Construction costs for rails and soil works. I mean, all those are going to be good for us as we're just barely laying down tracks. It will be cheaper. But not quite ready for it yet. We're just having to pay it a little bit safer than I'd like, but it is what it is. We can get the ore coming over here. I think that'll be massive, actually. A much shorter trip as well. Really like to get a second line along here before we get too far along. But it's all right. Well, we've made 50 grand off this train so far. It's a slow start, but I mean, what else do we do, you know? I mean, we could take out a loan and try to get something going that way, but I don't know if that's a massive amount of value. All right, new contract. Please tell me this is close to us. Terra Hot. Oh, it's right there. Uh, Yes, we will gladly grab this one. Because all that means, well... It's a little bit awkward because of the way this train is laid out, but all that means is that we've got to... Mm, not a map. Okay, so we're going to have to come off of back here. Not ideal, but it's fine. All right, 21 grand. All right, we do need to drop off at least one more load, I think, for money. Problem with doing this, though, is that we don't get money for this until we finish it. So excavation is actually the largest part of our Expenses. I didn't really realize that. Madison Bill must be over a thousand pop. It's actually demanding stuff finally. It's a very long train line here. Honestly, what we would want to do is scooch over to Effingham at some point. I think it's four trips to get up there with the current train. All right, we're going to be a little bit negative. I still want to get this line laid out, though. So we're going to go ahead and go just a tiny bit negative. It's fine. Not going to hurt anything. Evansville now requires passengers. That's actually very helpful because we can get a, a passenger line between Evansville and Terre Haute. Get that rolling here soon. But all right, we got 453 days. We need to get four loads, essentially. It's going to put us pretty negative, but we get how much for this? 109 grand. Surely that would be enough to 
be okay. So we're going to change you to, from Sullivan to your halt. And we're going to move you up. And you're going to unload for that. Just need four trips. Can we do four trips in 447 days? I hope so. I mean, discounts to store works again. Really good. Passenger profits still really good. We can start doing passengers. Because passengers are very lucrative. We, we, get, we get a lot of money over the course of the game just having a simple passenger line and rolling. We are going to go negative here because we're not going to have a trend getting us profits. I mean, if all we did was get a second on one of these trains and then change it back to uh, Sullivan or even Evansville, probably Sullivan, then we would very easily pay for pay for the trains, right? One train could pay for both trains. Question is, do we have enough time to get all the way up there and back four times or not? I think we have to du duplicate this train. It's going to put us more negative. But I think we have to. And it's going to have to be another John Bull for now. The sooner we get that, the better. The sooner we get that contract out is what I mean. St. Joseph wants Texas way too far away. Pony delivery. Good day. I heard your trains are fastest in the U.S., but can you deliver mail as fast as pony delivery does? How about about who is faster? You win. You get 50 experience. You lose. You pay me 10,000. Want to take the bet partner? Mail transportation from Jefferson City to Los St. Louis. It's not even close to me. Like, that is not helpful at all. Where is St. Louis? Ah, Jefferson City's there. St. Louis is there. I mean... Hmm. We only lose 10k if we don't get it. I'm going to go ahead and take it. Because if we can get some incentive to get over there... 100, 179 days? Alright, we're going to lose that one. <laughs> I just didn't know how long it was going to be. And we just don't have the, we don't have the money to get the tracks rolling, to pay for the tracks. I mean, we're only, you know, one more trip from both T1 and T2 to get this 100k here, which would pay for the tracks, but by then it's going to be too, too, le too little time left, I think. All right, well, we're going to lose 10K for that, but at least, at least we know what those are going to be in the future. Essentially, this contract, all it really does is it pays for this track. When it's all said and done. New contract for close. Kansas City again. It's not, not close enough, guys. Not close enough. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. At least we got started here. It's a slow start, but it's just, it's kind of how it goes, right? These slow starts. And then we just have to build up and build up and build up. And then eventually we kind of get to a, 
a tipping point where we're just doing a lot better after that. So we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.